The town of Castle Rock is making moves for mental health. Concern for teenagers has risen with one in 17 reporting struggles with anxiety in just the last year. Well, now the town council is voting to rezone a former assisted living facility to allow for a mental health treatment center serving teens. As Olivia Young, your reporter there in Douglas County, explains, some neighbors have some pretty serious questions about this new facility. The Castle Rock Town Council has narrowly approved converting this building into an inpatient mental health treatment facility for teens, but some neighbors aren't thrilled. Great, now we gotta watch out for what's really gonna be happening, you know, like crime and things like that. Metzler Ranch neighbor Miles Negley worries the facility will bring trouble into town. Why in my backyard? Why aren't there's a lot of kids in this neighborhood? Negley has a three year old and points out the Goddard School is just across the street. I absolutely can understand that neighbors have concerns. Sandstone Care Behavioral Health Director Halsey Driscoll says the facility won't house anyone with a violent past or history of substance abuse but will provide voluntary inpatient mental health care to teens aged 13 to 17 struggling with mood disorders. Like anxiety, depression, OCD um, that, that have brought them to a place where it's severely impacting their overall life in school, work, at home. She says it fills a need not currently being met in Douglas County. This teen residential in Castle Rock is something that um, our communities and in Colorado in general really need. As you know, we've had a huge increase, unfortunately, in mental health needs, especially for teens over the last several years. I'm not worried about that, not at all. Rhonda Akihiro doesn't have a problem with the facility, even though her nephew and his one and three year olds live just feet from it. It's not like there's prisoners all over the place, you know, it's a mental health facility for, you know, young adults. I think it'd be a good idea. We use Observe Smart, which is a bracelet tracking um, sort of service so that we can ensure that we know where everyone is at all the time. They can voluntarily leave, but yes, they would have to leave with their parent or guardian. But after attending community meetings, Negley still isn't convinced those security measures will keep his neighborhood safe. I'm not against kids getting help, but I don't understand why they need to put it in the backyard. This facility expects to open next year. In Castle Rock, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First. And Olivia is your reporter in Douglas County. If you have a story idea for her, you can email her through our website, cbscolorado.com.